of our stuff uh, because we do hot dogs and meatball subs now and things like that. Oh, going, I know. My kids sell the hot dogs last Going time. into the winter, the, the hot dogs and the meatball subs. And we're going to start doing some uh, clam chowder, too. So oh, for, nice. For those of you... You know, who want a nice little warm clam chowder before your You sound slush. like the labor end of the outfit. I, I am the, the I am the labor end. <laughs> the Juliet is the smart one. She's the one that takes care of all of she she's the one that tells me, you know what you gotta go get is this and I'll just go get it. You know, and, and I will tear apart machines and I will stay late and mop floors and do everything we right. have to do. And she does she does all the math. She does the math and the and the the setting up the menus and all of our uh, social media posts and all that stuff. If it was left to me, I don't think we'd have That's a business. That's crazy. Yeah. You guys went from traffic school <laughs> to let us amuse you. Yes. And then she, she made her living as a stage manager oh, yeah, in theater no, for yeah. 15 years and worked at Pixar for seven years. She, and, did, she did a podcast with Danielle. Danielle, yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, I listened to that. I was there. It was amazing. Yeah. yeah. And no, so her, she's, her Pixar stories. Well, she's incredible. had a pretty interesting journey and we've, you know, been out while she was at Pixar, I was a stay at home dad for seven years. So, uh, um, two daughters, two of them. I kept two also. I don't know if they're the same ones, but I balanced <laughs> at the end of the day, the ledger balanced. Uh, and, and, uh, you know, that was a, uh, that was probably the toughest job I ever had. I can mop a floor like nobody's business, but oh yeah, the kids thing, but yeah, 24 seven, there's no punching out. Did, that's why comedians, I don't see a lot of comedians with kids, right? You know they they're probably pretty good at making them but not yeah, so good at Yeah, that I I I would say most of the guys my contemporaries that I I grew up with they don't have a whole lot of families. I, you know, a lot of them still, you know, you make enough money to live in your one bedroom apartment and not have a day job, yeah. you know, and if you right. want and but then there's the guys that make it. I mean, right. um uh, let's see. Is, I, is there anybody nowadays that kind of catches your eye and com- do you still follow comedy I, a lot? You know, or? I've been lately I have been watching a lot of uh Netflix and stuff like that right. and uh you know who's probably one of the best writers is John Mulaney, I believe is his name. He he looks like he's 12, but he's oh, really got, really talented. He's good. And and I just uh, uh, of course, watch Chappelle, who's just so <laughs> brilliant. I mean, I, I, I'm going to watch one of these specials again because when you watch it, you can you can just feel that you're going to get sucker punched by the punch. You know, he's going to turn yeah. it around he's on gonna you, spin you around, and yeah, then knock and you, you down. can feel it. You don't know when it's coming, and when he and it's always a surprise. I, have you done this guy Nate Bergazzi? Have you seen? Him? I have. I've saw a little clip. I haven't watched yeah, the show I, I get, yet. I get uh, clips of those from. It, friend of mine yeah yeah i i there's some good guy some good stuff coming there's out a there. lot and then i watched uh who was it uh intolerant is the name of the show. jim jeffries very oh, yeah. very funny Jeez. yeah very funny i think uh, he's taking the edge off of his he was really i didn't see any of the the older his, ones his older stuff was really hard i've only seen one of the like but he's uh, great a youtube clip of some sort but he, yeah I, I like that he doesn't he isn't shy about getting a little political too yeah he he takes on some issues this intolerant thing i just thought it was going to be him ranting and raving about stuff and it literally was a, a probably a little over an hour story with little excerpts of other things in there but it was a story about him being intolerant of dairy products. Oh. And and so this whole arc of the so that's story. that's a setup too. It really is. And it's a whole arc of a story. And it's a fantastic hour-long journey to get to the end. And and uh, he, you know, talks about going on dates and how much he loves cheese and all this stuff. And, and it's really, really good. And, and I love the long-form of it. I'm trying to write a, I, I've done a solo show once before, which was, I think, 85 minutes long. God, that's long. Yeah, it's a long time. And, um, so now and, you got to put, in, so yeah, that's a whole different animal, right? It's a completely and, different, instead you know, of taking your five Lego pieces, you know, and, well, now what I'm trying to do is it, it, write about, uh, baseball, which is, but I have in my life, all of these baseball so you stories. Be, you must be thrilled with the Dodgers. I then. hate the Dodgers. Uh, <laughs> My 20, wife's from L.A. 2020 continues to suck is the way I look the, at the it. The worst part is, is now I'm reminded of 88. Oh, because I was, they beat the A's. I, I'm, I'm an A's fan. Yeah. And my wife, has, she has done the Kirk, Kirk Gibson, Gibson oh. arm pump. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how hard is that to watch? Every, never again. I'm sure I didn't even watch a pitch of the World I Series. I just leave the room. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I haven't watched any sports this year. Uh, I, it's hard to keep up with anything. I did not watch. I've watched some football because usually my days off are Sunday. And yep. I'm like, oh, I'll turn it on. I'll cook food while I'm, you know. We ditch cable even before COVID. Yeah, I think. So it's a lot uh, of Netflix and stuff. What do we have? We have one of those. Uh, I think it's an Xfinity or something. One okay. of those now. But uh, yeah, I, I, I watch a lot of Netflix. I started watching. 
uh, NBA fan, they did the whole bubble thing. Yeah, I, I would have watched the NBA had the Warriors played. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, but it all of a sudden got really ugly really quick with them. So, well, it just yeah. feels like 2020 is just a throwaway, you it, know? It really is. I don't consider these, whoever wins the these Mulligan championships, year. these are not real champions. These are yeah. all asterisk champions. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, it's not 2020. It's so, not Wicked's hanging in. Wicked's when, doing when, great. When, uh, so, West Side Stories... When things open up soon after first Wednesday, every month, we're going to be at the, the hotel Petaluma hotel Petaluma. Yeah. Which they're a great partnership. I don't know if people have been in there. That's, Is that Fridays uh, or Saturdays? Or? It's a Wednesday. Oh, we're Wednesday. Really, first Wednesday, every month. First. Uh, oh, you just said it. Yeah. And, and <laughs> you know, West side stories, Petaluma, you can find our website and all that fun stuff. Um, but, uh, uh, five minute true stories told live on stage without notes. And somebody wins at the end of the, the night. What we've done for the last, I, I don't, obviously we're not doing this, it this, this year. This isn't Joe Schmo from, you know, walking in off the farm. I mean, people work on their material. Oh yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and, and, um, but I, these it's are not sold professional out for years. Yeah. And, and like 80 people. And now we're bumping up to 110, I think. Well, is have what have you, I'm, I keep getting dragged off topic, but have you done any of this TikTok stuff? I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's yeah. it's a it's a, another social media app, but oh. it's it's short videos. Just what we need. I'll tell you what though these these I don't know if they're millennials or what what do you call them now? Per- um, perennials, kids. <laughs> they're all kids. <laughs> they're brilliant with Are their really? little comedy pieces. Oh yeah, uh, I'll have to check it out. Anyway. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll I'll watch I'll it. I'll text you some. But okay, cool. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, I, so anyway, first Wednesday. First Wednesday every month, uh, we do this. And, and like I said, we took it directly from the moth. We go, except for our scoring is completely different. I actually feel that we have a more fair way to score the, the winner of the evening. And that's and, audience scored? Yeah, it actually is. And, and we use a, 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 a telephone app. Where oh, okay. it comes up on my laptop as a barcode, people will vote for who they thought was their favorite storyteller of the evening, and the one with the highest percentage at the end of the evening is the you know winner, the favorite story of the evening. That person moves on to the finals, which we for the last five years have held at the Mystic and sold right. out the Mystic five years in How a row. How many people said that? Jeez. Uh, four seventy, I think. So it, it's a big night, and we're going to miss doing that this year because. We haven't had any winners <laughs> to right. fill the show. Right. Uh, we had. You could do you know, a Hall of Fame thing if it opens up. We could, up. but I don't think they're going to open up by December. Nah. You know, it's not in time for us to. And to things are going to look show. normal for yeah. a while yet. It's not going to be. It, it, it. It's just not going to be. You know, if we if we get to do anything, we'll do a show over at the the hotel. You know, for 110, which is great. You know, but. Ticket prices, I think we're at 12 bucks a ticket, something like that. It's not yeah. really expensive. It's cheaper to, than going to a movie, and yeah, it's live awesome. entertainment. Um, and, and anybody can drop their name in the hat. You know, we pick a topic for the, the evening, and uh, the, the story needs to loosely be based on that topic. I remember one time, I think the topic was water. Right. And we had people talking about an ice storm. We had people talking about uh, swimming with uh, massive sea turtles. We had a, a woman who was a lifeguard talking about saving somebody's life. Oh, wow. You know, so, yeah. So I try and make the, the, the theme as open as possible, and then people can work on based around that theme. And usually, I mean, every once in a while, you'll get somebody who – just came in that night and go, oh, I didn't know that. I, I want to put my name in that. And they've never done it before. Uh, but more often than not, there are people who have worked on their story and, and, uh, right. So, you know. oh, good. But that's got to be good too. Every once in a while oh. you, you get the, oh shit. I didn't know I was, yeah, <laughs> what it, I was getting into. But not only that, they, they get up there and we've had people that have done that and they win the evening because they just have the right story. Or it's really that earnest theme. or yeah. yeah. And then, you know, a, a lot of times it's like, I've told the story a hundred times at a party. I can go up. Oh, well now I'm standing in front of 80 people telling right. it, right, you know, right, it's right. not the same, but the people are familiar with their story. It's not, nobody's making it up. They're all true stories. So, you know, it, it's great that they get to come and, experiment with it and we oftentimes get people that then become regulars and they start telling stories we have people that have gone on to other story slams in the bay area and won at those things so you know we have a lot of people we have a really high quality uh storytellers in in the petaluma area Uh, can't wait for it to start again i know all right dave well hey uh i gotta go (laughs) you have things to do (laughs) well sort of yeah kids yeah. Um, no, but thanks for coming down oh, and for talking and being a guinea pig. And I appreciate we get, that. Hopefully you come back and do it again. Anytime you want. And Wicked Slush, 
Uh, what? How many days a week are you open? All well, seven? We we are open all seven. This That's is the nuts. last week we're open all seven. Next week, <laughs> November, the first it's week November. of November, that we're going to go to closing on Tuesdays um, because it's just slower yeah. in November and December. Yeah. We'll, we'll uh, like... You guys can February, spend, March. spend some time with each other. Maybe. We sp- <laughs> spend all the time. We work together. We live together. Oh, and yeah. the kids are grown now. Yeah, it's nice. That's got to make it weird, though. Well, actually, uh, it's pretty great. Uh, I, I'm really happy and proud, and I like my kids. Oh, so, isn't that the best, though? Which is really cool. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I could talk forever, but thanks, Dave. I appreciate it. We'll talk it. again. Thanks, Phil. All right, bye. Bye.